leave the courtroom now, okay? This I is don't my want court. This to get nasty. I want you to leave. If I have to come up in here with men myself to take custody of you, I will. Welcome back to the Van Ballion channel, guys. Yes, that was veteran Washington Sovsit and all-round piece of trash Eddie Banks trying to intimidate Everett Municipal Court Judge Remy Leonard and then threatening to come back with men to arrest her because she wouldn't entertain any of his sovereign citizen BS during a hearing to quash an outstanding warrant and to arrange the date for his competency hearing. Surprisingly, he does have an attorney present who tries to rein him in, but it's clear he doesn't have any respect for court rules and procedures, and is only there to create chaos and intimidate. Right, let's get into the video. is asking the court to quash the warrant that was previously issued at his last hearing. And I believe the clerk has already been handed forward a 1077 order for a competency evaluation, which defense is requesting to take place out of custody. All right, thank you. So first of all, I'm going to quash the warrant that was issued for Mr. Banks. What's the city's position with regard to the 1077? The city is no to give notice of fraud on the court and serve documents to all parties involved. Okay, so I don't know what that means because that's in our, not in our normal procedure. So you're okay. welcome to do that if you need to. But okay, I'm so you're... You about your next court date. Does that November 6th for you? No, I don't consent to any further court dates. All right, so that's November 6th, and if you don't appear on November 6th, I'm going to issue one for your arrest, okay? All right, so I set that date. I've signed the order, and we'll make sure to get a party spot. Ma'am, I need your uh, name again, please. Sir, you represent the city? Yes. May I have your uh, name, please? Sir, you're going to have to move along because I have other cases that I need to call. So you can ask those questions. Sir, you need to ask may them. I have your name, please? Mr. Banks. Mr. Banks. Sir. Mr. Banks. Sir. May I have your name, please? Sir. Sorry, I'm not allowed to talk to you at the moment. Mr. Banks, I need you to step back, okay? All right. Um, All this information is public record. You can get it. Absolutely, yeah. Going round asking for names he should already have, or like the judge said, are uh, easily accessible because they're all public record, has got to be one of the pettiest things a sovsit can do. And that's saying something because everything they do is petty. But now he ups the pettiness and rudeness by walking up on the judge after being warned not to. I'm giving you uh, judicial notice. You need to hand it to the clerk. Judicial notice. You What's your back. name, ma'am? You need to stand back. Sir, so you need to stand back. Emily? Yes. Last name, back. Emily? You need to go back. All right, I'm going to need you to move so I can call the next case. So this is the thing. You forced me to come here, and then you no, limit, you and then you won't. You, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, ma'am. Everything that I filed in the case, everything that I filed in this case is being ignored. You want to play with my life, take away my ability to make a living with fraudulent proceedings. It's unacceptable. You need to exit my courtroom. It's all in this Do you believe you're above arrest? Um, I need you to leave my courtroom. Do you believe you're above arrest? I need you to leave my courtroom. Do you believe you're above the law? 
Okay, first of all, if everything you've filed in your case is being ignored, then that should be a giant red flag that everything you're filing is nonsense. And secondly, nobody forced you to go down the sovereign citizen rabbit hole and stay there for the next 12 years. So stop blaming other people and playing the victim and take responsibility for your own poor life choices and stop pretending you're above the law when you're not. Don't keep approaching me. I'm going to ask you kindly to please leave the courtroom now, okay? This is my court. I don't want this court. to get nasty. I want you to leave. Yeah, because I want him to come arrest you. you. I'm going to ask you to leave, okay? It's fine. I will quash your warrant. You need to leave, please. I'm asking you nicely. Just please leave. Respect you the paperwork, lady. <laughs> I'm not playing with you. Respect and honor. That's what it is. I've given you judicial notice. If I have to come up in here with men myself to take custody of you, I will. Because you will not use the people's power to step on my life and the people of, the, of this county, in this city. Believe that. You are so lucky that you got to walk out of that courtroom free instead of going to jail for contempt after that display. Not many judges will tolerate that kind of behaviour in their courtroom, especially after all the threats you made. That could easily land you a charge of intimidating a public official and obviously kidnapping if you're stupid enough to follow through with those threats. I will of course keep an eye on Eddie to see where this all goes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Right, take care all and I will catch up with you in the next video.